I find it amazing, though, that no information gets out with the Patriots. You're telling me. Yeah. You are telling me. <laughs> Uh, but I, I was told a long time ago, and not too long ago, that the Patriots were interested in Josh Rosen. And it was even told to me under, like, this veil of secrecy. You know, you can't even say, you know, sources close to or any of that stuff. And I didn't know if if they could have gotten Josh Rosen, did they want him more than, uh, you know, the, the guy that they drafted, Jared Stidham? All right. And I'm not disputing your source. Yeah. But this is this goes to. I mean, you're pretty smart. You know some people. I'm sure the people you talk to are also well plugged in. I've been doing this for a while. I talked to some people here. I heard the opposite. Yeah. They just didn't value him at that level. So this goes to the you know obfuscate. They screw everybody up. They're very opaque. They're very opaque. So as a result, I don't think that they ever really wanted Josh Rosen. Even though I thought it made a hell of a lot of sense, you're not going to get a top 10 value if you're the New England Patriots at the quarterback position anytime soon. So it made sense to me. But Stidham, really, when you look at it and you watch his film, you see why they are enticed, especially if he can sit there as an apprentice. My God, he, he's going to jump off the page during training camp as the guy who delivers the best football, and that includes the greatest quarterback to play. Is he the heir apparent? He's going to have every opportunity to prove it. He's going to have every – because I, Tom Brady had it in him at the age of 37 to 40 to beat back the Jimmy Garoppolo challenge, and he did it successfully and screwed up the Patriots' entire plan. <laughs> I think that in this instance, I don't know if he's going to have it in him again. Not that he wouldn't have the stomach for it, but just that – well, not that he wouldn't have the talent, but just he might be, you know what, okay, year 22, I'm all set. This kid can have it. But does Brady take him under? Is, is he one of those guys that can take you under his wings and help you? He can do either one. And he absolutely, um, you know, he wasn't actively hiding Jimmy Garoppolo's helmet. <laughs> but, you know, he, he didn't really go overboard to try and shepherd him into taking his job. And I don't blame him for that. I mean, he's built something here. He moved his family here. He built a palatial Brookline estate got his kids going to school and he's going to help Jimmy Garoppolo succeed him, screw that. But he didn't actively try to undermine him. I think in Stidham's case, I think he'll probably follow the same approach. Um, a lot of these guys, whether it's Wes Welker with Julian Edelman or any other NFL address, these guys say, you know what, learn it from the coaches. I'm not a coach. Figure it out for yourself. <laughs> and then at some point, they might start to help him give him some tips. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on VR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.